Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another look for you and I will be using the Vegas Lights palette and the Nightlife pigment by Makeup Geek. I will also be using a few other Makeup Geek shadows and one shadow by Urban Decay. As you can see for today's look, I really wanted to do something a little bit more vampy for fall. So I did a smoky eye with a bright and reddish purpley lip. If you would like to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. The first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes. Today I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer and just dotting that onto the lid and lower lash line. And then using my Sigma P82 brush just to blend it all in. I'm using my Morphe B19 blending brush in some of the color Sin City and working that into my crease as my transition shade. I'm also working this shade a little bit into the upper crease as well. Using the same brush in the color Mirage, I'm just working that right on top and working out any harsh edges. I'm using the color Roulette right into the crease and this is just going to add a little bit more warmth. As always, when you're working colors into the crease, just use windshield wiper motions as well as circular motions to make sure that you get everything really well blended. I'm going in with the color Bada Bing and concentrating it on the outer V and then also working it into and through the crease. I want this look to be pretty smoky, so we're really going to build up Bada Bing to really smoke it out. To add even more depth, I'm going to start working in the color Crave by Urban Decay, and if you have Corrupt by Makeup Geek, just use that, and just start to kind of lightly blend that in. I'm using a clean BH Cosmetics blending brush and just really working out any edges. I'm using a BH Cosmetics lip brush and some of the e.l.f. glitter primer and just patting that right onto the lid all the way out onto the outer V. I dipped my finger into Makeup Geek's Nightlife pigment and I'm going to start packing that all over the lid where we applied that primer. I'm using my clean Morphe M200 brush and just taking that along all of the edges to really work everything out and blend it all together. You can also go in and add a little bit more Bada Bing if you want it to be a little bit darker and smokier. Now I'm going in with my NYC Black Liquid Liner and I'm going to start off by creating a pretty dramatic cat eye, well at least an elongated one. So just creating the wing and then connecting it all the way into the inner corner. As you can see, I used a black liner and filled in my upper and lower waterline and also brought it down onto my lower lash line. I'm going in with the color Crave and using that to start to smoke out the lower lash line in that liner that we applied. And then I'm going in with the color Bada Bing to blend it out even more. I'm taking Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer right on the inner corner to kind of highlight and brighten up the inner eye. Also taking Shimmer Shimmer to highlight the brow bone and I'm using a BH Cosmetics angled brush. And if you don't want this look to be so shimmery, you could always use a matte highlight for this. And now I'm just going to be applying some false lashes. For this look, I stacked together the Stardo Lash SF217s and the Amoras number 118s to get a custom look. Alright, and moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match, and it is in the color N1. And I'm using my Real Technique stippling brush just to apply that all over. I'm grabbing my NYX HD Concealer and it is in the shade Porcelain and I'm just going to be applying that right under my eyes to highlight. Then I'm also going to be using the same Real Techniques brush to blend it all out. Now I'm going in with my Caudi Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm just going to be patting that on all over the face. And I do concentrate a little bit more on the areas that tend to get oily, so like on my chin and my nose and between my brows. I'm grabbing my BH Cosmetics Angled Blush Brush and, and dipping that into Chocolate Soleil bronzer by Too Faced and I'm going to just use that to add a little bit of definition to my to my face in the areas like my cheekbones, on my forehead, and either side of my nose. I'm grabbing my Mary Kay powder brush and dipping that into the bronzer Sun Bunny by Too Faced and also applying that onto the same areas and this will add a little bit more definition and also a little bit of a glow. Using that same Mary Kay powder brush I'm going to be dipping it into the Melt Into Spring blush that is also by Too Faced. I'm taking that translucent powder again and just running it along the edges of my contour or just my definition that I did and this will just add a little bit more of a sharper look to the contour and blush. Then just use the Mary Kay powder brush to kind of blend everything out a little bit. 
For the lips, I'm first applying Wet n Wild Sugar Plum Fairy, and I'm going to just be applying that on the outer edges of the lips because I kind of want an ombre look for this look. Now I'm taking Revlon's Lip Butter in the color Red Velvet and applying that right onto the center of the lips and then kind of blotting my lips together to blend it in with the Sugar Plum Fairy. Alright, and here you have the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and maybe learned something new today. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and also to subscribe. That way you will get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be seeing you all soon. Bye beauties!